split. Get used to seeing more of that because it's hard to believe Christmas is a week away. Airports are busier than ever along with the highways and interstates. So Allison Gormley joins us live from Indy International today to break down what's the deal with the do's and don'ts of screenings. You've seen some interesting items confiscated at the airport today, Allison. A whole bin of them. So when you get to the airport, you see the ticket counters, the food court, and ultimately the security lines. But what you don't see is the back room where the TSA keeps all of the items that can't go through security. And while people do have the option ultimately to bring them back to the car or mail them, they, they don't. They don't. The juice is not worth the squeeze. So they wind up back here. And we are going to show you some of the items in the bin. Some of them might be obvious and others not so obvious. So we are going to bring TSA uh, federal director over to me. Uh, he's going to show me Aaron Bat over here. Well, so why, why might this not make it? Yeah, so some of the to um, tools that you see here um, are things that could be used as a block. Uh, on an airplane and so for example um, as you look at the weight there uh, it's pretty heavy as you look at uh, the rolling pin it's made of granite uh, of course can be used as a weapon um, another couple items that people don't think about uh, but are also prohibited and can't come through are any tools that are over uh, seven inches um, and all power tools uh, are considered prohibited and all those items need to go in your check baggage and not the checkpoint. And then of course anything that might look like a replica uh, of a firearm um, or other deadly or dangerous item. Yeah, something about bringing a fake gun to the airport screams maybe don't do that. Yeah, I would um, put that uh, in your check baggage. Right, and let's end, since it is Christmas, we have a snow globe here, which is obviously back here for a reason. So why didn't this make it through? Yeah, so um, any liquids that are 3.4 ounces or greater uh, or 100 milliliters, um, you know, there needs to be a medical necessity for us to use another piece of um, uh, technology and equipment to test it. Uh, this one, it's, you know, we kind of say if it's over the size of uh, a tennis ball, it's over the uh, 100 milliliters, and it's also difficult uh, to test the liquid that's inside uh, of it. All right, so leave the snow globes that look like they're more than 3.4 ounces at home. And ahead at five, we will go over the liquids that are allowed to be a little bit bigger, but there's got to be a reason, and we'll tell you that ahead. Okay. Allison, can you ask him, like, do the employees ever get to take some of that stuff home? Because I want the weight. I'll take the snow globe, and I'll also <laughs> take, um, there was something else there that I'd like to take home. Um, you know, the just pocket knife. So no. you want both of these things? Well, yes. we'll have to, I'll tell you where they go, but you're going to have to watch all of our evening shows to find out. Oh, okay. okay. Ooh, well, I'll geez. be here. <laughs> Thanks, Somebody Allison. But I have something it? for Sean later on. Oh, oh, is that a samurai sword? He's a samurai Close. on the weekend, Close. so that makes sense. It is, it is a samurai <laughs> sword toy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. A Randy Jackson? Is it? Oh, the one signed by Randy Jackson. A movie quote. Thank you so much, Sean. I appreciate that. <laughs> we'll see you again at five, Allison. Thank you. I hate that somebody had to part ways with that snow globe. I what know. Oh, the rolling pin. That was the other okay. item. I'd take that, right. too. Well, Christmas. I got a Christmas gift idea from you. <laughs>